Hello everyone, I'm High Treason. I don't really know what to say for this, nothing for this intro. So whatever, this is a mishmash of crap recorded to do with the the ongoing move. And uh, yeah, feel free to skip these. Uh, you know, I'm going to upload these every once in a while. They're going to be long-winded and boring, but I want to do them. But just ignore them. We will resume regular programming at some point. So yeah, don't worry about that. I'll get on with this shit anyway. Hello everyone, I'm High Treason. Figured it was uh, time to do another moving vlog. So yeah, this is my room. Old house. Um, yeah, I ain't actually slept up here in years. Various reasons. Uh, but yeah, uh, packing things away in boxes, it's fucking horrible, I don't like doing it, I feel shit, I'm not going to do any more, but I cleared that closet out today, god I'm going to miss having a closet. You know what did I do, I stood in the corner of the room didn't I, when I was like showing the size, so uh, let's have a look while I'm up here, I mean this room's actually got stuff in it, so, but yeah, uh, this room is larger. <laughs> It's longer and wider, so I mean it's, uh, I figured on that I'm going to lose about 70 square feet of space on the bedroom and about 54 on the living room. And I don't have a closet. And I don't have as much space in my kitchen. I don't know how I'm going to fucking do this. I could have got a, another house, the council would have caved in, but they can't give me anywhere better than that. So it's like, oh, what the fuck? Really? Good God. And yeah, I don't know if... Did I ever show you the cracks in the ceiling? Oh, well, I'll, I'll rake that out. But yeah, there's a crack in the ceiling in the new house. Well, there's a crack in this ceiling. Well, it ain't that bad. This house has been here like 80 years. It's going to do that a bit. It's not really an issue. And I am kind of loading the, the loft quite heavy, so... It's going to look a bit worn out. Yeah, I'm missing this closet, man. That was a, a good space. I used to keep my fuck doll in here and everything. More interesting, there's a fucking massive hole there. Uh, it's been there uh, since I put that in. I'm starting to think I might have to stuff a bore skirt down there <laughs> just to have a look at the inside of the wall. Just see what's there. Nothing interesting. Lots and lots of concrete, I would have thought. That's my old TV. It's the one I hooked the Wonder Mega up to. Still worked, last time I tried it. That is an original door, that's some idiot painted. Might steal that. You'll never be able to get the handle hurl out of it though, so it will forever have uh, marks from the handle, whereas I really should have had one of those on. And that'll be a sheet of hardboard, that'll come off. People have to fucking do that. I mean, what was wrong with the original handle, though, you know, and the original way of keeping it shut? It made sense. I don't know what's up with this camera, it don't focus anymore, it's pretty much had it. But yeah, when you think, this is the room, I think the first time I ever made a YouTube video in this house, I was in this, this room, and I was probably, my computer would have been on that wall there. I used to have these shelves on my consoles here. And uh, I'm not sure which one it was. I don't think you could see the room, so I've got a sneaking suspicion the first time you saw my face in here was probably on one of my old Mac rant videos when I was that way inclined. I was young and immature and I did stupid shit, because everybody did. I don't mind admitting that. I make mistakes. I learn from them. Mistakes are good. You don't make a mistake, you never really, you know, you can't learn anything, that's boring. So yeah, my desk used to be here, so I think it was like that camera, and it, it was brighter than this, because this is shit energy saveable. I used to have a 100 watt bulb, I had a lamp on my desk, and it used to be like, look like that kind of like level of brightness. I know that, that camera was shit. I don't think I ever really used it on anything else. And uh, yeah, the Lame Duke video was at least edited here, and at least partially recorded here, but I, I think they had started on that in the home. <coughs> I have some footage of the home. 
and I will show you that at the end of this probably or if not I'll save it for another time depends how long this gets now you might remember something's getting on my throat stinging I'm not sure what that's about maybe I'm getting a cold or something everyone else has had one you might remember I complained about the, uh, the flooring in the other house and that well this is a board I never nailed down because I mean this was temporary you know they fucked it up you can see my lovely varnished floor they fucking destroyed it and you can still see pieces of expanding foam they'd used to because this isn't their board the one they used stopped there so there was like a massive well it was actually the other side it was like two inches too narrow so they just uh, sort of nailed it in the middle so there was like a bit of a gap on that side and a huge one on that side and just spread expanding foam in uh, you know so these ones are a temporary job I did except for that one that's a council job that one there which I can tell by that nail which hasn't been uh, put in right now. they've obviously reused one of the old Brad's nails I wish they nailed it down you know they usually don't you know, these, uh, some of these ones are held down, that one's not. There you go. Take the floorboards. They're quite heavy floorboards of this length. <laughs> yeah, that's a joist right there, <laughs> that's how you do them. Oh, this fucking one inch wide crap. It's a mess under here, man. It's fucking dirty. Well, this is no bricks down here. You can see as well the uh, ceilings are put in differently in this house. There are a bunch of little wooden strips and plasters put on. It's all breaking off, and there's like gaps under the wood, so the ceiling could fall in. Uh, yeah, there's a joist. I said they were about as wide as four of my fingers. They are. They're three inch by seven, I think. And uh, well, we can find out. In a second, I don't remember which pocket this is in. And that pipe was gas, but it's off, or I would not be here. I, I'm terrified of gas. Three inches. Now, because I've only got one hand, it'd be easier to lock the measure out. So, yeah, it looks like a decent spot. Out there. Yeah, we're on top of one of the ridges of plaster that give us a the rough bits that's subtracting a bit, it's seven inches. So yeah, you won't have a problem with these joists. You know, these will fucking hold this place up, no problem. And uh, they're not even as far apart, like, uh, you know, they're not the same distance, but there is a kind of, these seem to have a, a, a pattern to them as such, it makes logical sense, and they're actually straight instead of the other ones, one of them's kind of on an angle like that, and then the other one's kind of, like, the room isn't carved, so I don't know why they've done that. It's not really square either, it's random shapes. Not like this, this room's sensible, it's square aside from the uh, chimney there. But there used to be fitted cupboards all along that, so the room was square. The immersion heater used to be in that corner, in that cupboard. That used to be the airing cupboard. They took it out, I asked them not to, but you know. So, yeah, 17 inches wide. We have some in the other place that are like that. Next one is 14. This one here, 14. But yeah, it, this place, it made sense and it's full of lead pipe. There's a bit I took out there. I guess he didn't clean the flux off. What a moron. I like the construction of this, I've got to be honest. I don't like the bodge job they've done with the gas pipe. I, I really don't like when they just cut in like that. Cool, under the floor. <laughs> But I know of something quite interesting under here, because you see that black thing there? Well, that's carrying all the electricity to this house. Let's see if we can find it. Ah, yes, now that black thing there, that's touching the bottom of the floorboards. You're not supposed to do that with an electric cable. So that's illegal. So if you're an electrician, and you think, oh, I'm going to take a shortcut, uh, I can't be bothered to do the job. Yeah, don't. Somebody might die, and it'll be your... You know, it'll come back on you when you do it. But for some reason, gas pipes, that, that apparently is perfectly fine to do it with those. I just, I don't understand. Like, if you're going to do a job, why do it badly? Fucking is. Like I say, it might come back on you. Like, the guy who put this gas in, it kept leaking, so... 
it cost him a lot of time and money because he had to work for free to fix it. He didn't get paid for that. Now that Cooler Master Cosmos is the case for my Xeon. Not the best case, but it was free. I nicked it out of the back of someone's car. With permission, I asked. They were taking it to the tip. They gave me a Radeon X1650 Pro AGP with it. Might as well have just given me a... Jesus Christ. If you had good things with that card, then cool. I didn't. But this particular piece of floor, I remember. And of course I do, because I'm, I'm sat on it. But that's the thing, I used to sit on this every fucking day. When I first got this house, I had like... There was no power, there was no water, there was no anything. And there was certainly nothing in here, like, other than a few tools and tins of paint. And I was still technically living in a children's home. But I used to come and I'd just sit here because I didn't have any furniture. And it was awesome. It was like, this is my house, I can do whatever the fuck I want now. I can wear my shoes, I can spit on the floor, I can smoke. And then they, they'd come and find me. You get yourself back home now. Well, I am home. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Take your shoes off. No. Yes, get out. Well, you got your shoes on. My house, my rules. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm not leaving. Well, I'm calling the cops. You can't. No, I can't. It's my property now. <laughs> you know, if I say you're a trespasser, you have to leave. I am technically, you know, it's all my responsibility now. And it was fucking great how, like, big a deal simple things like that seemed. You know, if I wanted to paint the room a stupid colour, nobody would stop me. I could do it. I never did, obviously. I never got round to decorating because I got ill before I could do that. But, you know, it was kind of cool. used to ride my bike here every day and some of my furniture and that I actually brought on my bike home with me, give me one trip in the van bastards, and then they still threw a load of my stuff out dicks fucking stem people who do crap like that yeah, I don't fucking know Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I move. It's a fucking right off that place, it really is. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't really have anything else to blog on this today. So, uh, yeah. This kind of progress is being made. Slowly, I'm not working particularly fast, I can't. I do this for a few hours, I start feeling really shit and I had to take two days off of it because I just can't fucking do it. And, uh, yeah, uh, we'll get there eventually. I'm still paying rent on both houses until it's done, but I ain't got the money, so fuck them. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm on high trees and I look like a fucking bum. Look at my beard. It's the first time I've seen my, my own face in weeks. I don't look in mirrors very often. And it's real echo in here, so you know, where the fuck are you? Well, you know, this is a new house. I figured I haven't walked around it on here yet. I haven't vlogged anything to do with the move in a while. Well, I have recorded some. I might tack it on the end of this where I was like showing differences in how my old house was constructed and shit. Uh, you know, with the flooring and that. Because uh, I find shit like that quite interesting, especially when you see the fucking immense difference in the materials used. Uh, but yeah, uh, so this is a new house. You can see a little bit of it. And it's dark now, so I can't show you as much as I would. 
and this place isn't fully lit and that's only a 25 watt bulb but I mean it's in a very big room I'm stood right back in the corner here I got, there you go and that's all we've got to play with I'm losing I've done my math uh, here this wall to them doors is the same length as my existing living room but it's several feet shorter this way I'm losing about 54 square feet and the room above I shall be losing about 70 square feet so yeah uh, this place isn't very big and I'll be honest with you I don't know how the fuck I'm going to set my computer or my keyboard up I have a synth video coming because of that because I had to get one last sequence out that's that piece of ceiling that fell down because it's lovely in our text that bit's going to follow it it looks like uh, right, where am I looking? There we go. I'm going to practice with this. Oh man, that's lovely, that, isn't it? Probably shouldn't mess with it, but... <laughs> uh, it's probably because the water's getting in or something. The place is quite damp feeling anyway. Because the walls are full of fucking cellulose or formaldehyde or something. Uh, these are getting boarded over. Uh, that I'm not having this shit. What the fuck's going on there? <laughs> Feels weird. I don't... That's pretentious. Who the fuck has those? I can just push it open if I wanted to anyway. I'm not really held in there with anything. So yeah, that's my new living room. It's a dump, basically. Um, I'm not decorated. No point. If you can't really polish a tad, it doesn't matter what I do to this place. You're not going to be able to really make it look good. Uh, and you can't just, you know, if you get a crap building, you can't make it a good building. There's problems with where I am now, but underneath it all was still a good house. This really isn't, and it's too far gone, even if it was. It's got all this plasticised shit everywhere and crappy workmanship. My fucking windowsill moves. My fucking. The whole window frame comes out, that door frame is nailed in. If you push it outwards, it will fall out of the wall. And uh, my floor's sinking. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what a lovely place we've got here. I'll think of some of it, but it ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, well, I'm gonna look at the rest of this fucking shit all. This is it every turn though, I mean, this is the crap that I have to put up with. And I wasn't even sure these are the drain valve on, and I'm still not sure, because it's a long time since I've messed with such things, whether that is or not. I'm not inclined to think so, but... Because that's on the inside, so it's not... So basically there isn't one. And these are all on different legs, so I'm going to have a lot of water all over the place when I take that out. Because it's in the way, and I'm not going to be using it because I don't have gas. Oh, I do have gas, even though I asked for it not to be connected. Look at this mess. Fucking. Okay. It's council fire. The old pipe under the very shit. <laughs> now, I'll have a look at the rest of the place. Yeah, so this is my hallway. Bit of a waste of space. I don't know why it has to be this big. I wouldn't mind if the rest of the house made up for it, but obviously it done. Because if this was just this little bit here, then it would make sense. If that was like the living room had the additional width of the stairway, kind of like the one I have now does. I don't know why you'd put this in the middle of an house this small, but it's silly. And like I say, my door frame, the whole thing moves. So, yeah. <laughs> It's well made, and I'll go up there in a minute, but I had a bulb in there, there you go. This is my kitchen, it's small, it's a strange shape, it has a weird gap there, I don't know what you could do with that, maybe you could put, uh, well, I guess I can sort of sally my foot doll in here, or maybe Hannah will fit in here, ah oh, no, but either way, uh, it's a bit pointless. Really? Gonna be net there. And yeah, I've looked because I've on this I, I looked behind there because I'm like, you know, cockhead plumbers with the council. Might have put in uh, the valve back there. It seems like the sort of shit they would do, but no, it's not there. So 
Yeah. And my cupboard smell funny and the kitchen sink. Uh, that's probably that cover up the, the funny smells. Hey, check this out. We've got a hole somewhere. If you listen. It's going somewhere. <laughs> I haven't figured out where. Uh, yeah, to get my bikes here, I'm going to have to knock this and that out, which accounts council won't be happy about. You can see what kind of people lived here. And they took down a four foot light fitting, I assume it's four foot, I'll measure that while I'm here. But, uh, yeah, and holy shit, we have a wooden door. I mean, what the fuck? You think they'd take it out? It's been painted horribly though. Yeah, no fucking varnished wood for me. As per usual, who the fuck paints this shit? Like, what, is it like a three-year-old child? I guess they're cheap to employ. It would fit the couch. You know? Hmm. <laughs> and yeah, you can see how they fitted these cupboards. They haven't put the bottom of them. Is the old cupboards they had before with a nice gap where they cut them off. Because that's how you do that shit, isn't it? Oh, and this is, this is a gas pipe. That's for the uh, cooker. And that's to put the chain on to stop the cooker being ripped away and pulling the pipe with it. So, yeah, you think that's good? That's, that's real cool, right? Yeah, shit. Of course, the, the gas meter's in here, in the little tiny cupboard under the stairs. It, doesn't, it pales in comparison to my current cupboard under the stairs. Then we have this very strange room here, which you'll notice there's no light in. Switch is jammed. There we go. Doesn't matter, it's not going to be left on. There we go. <laughs> and you're like, well, you just turned the breaker off. Yeah, I did. And the place is drinking electricity. And we've only got a 60 amp supply. <laughs> I can't even run two rooms on that. It's horrible. We want to know where that gas pipe's gone. You, you want to know? I'll show you where the gas pipe's gone. Uh, Oh yes, you can just see it there. <laughs> and that breaker I flipped, garage outhouse. Is a 16 amp breaker. And it's running that light. Yeah, because that's so I don't know if you do electrics, but you don't do that shit. It's not not on. Like uh Well let's see, the entire downstairs lights, which isn't the entire downstairs lights, but well, you know, whatever. Uh let's see. B6, huh? So, yeah, these are uh, B5, 6 amp. I'm sure they used to be 5, but that'll run the entire downstairs like you've got 16 amp. Hey, look. I wonder if that would work. I can always lock it in there and see, but that's not my job. I'm not fucking with it. I didn't make this mess, so I'm not clearing it up because then if it goes wrong, I'll, they'll just blame me. And you don't believe me? Well, watch this. Now you know I can't be using that hand to do it. Uh, so, garage outhouse. <laughs> so we do like in council houses apparently. And I'm leaving that on so I know. Uh, yeah, supposedly I can fit all my computers in that room, people keep telling me. We didn't really look at it. I uh, couldn't think of it, so I don't know. I'll, I'll flip the light back on real fast so you can see the room. I'm stood outside the door. It isn't that big. And of course the door's a problem because it opens on that door. So one of them will have to come out and I'll have to store it because I have to put it back in if I leave. What the fuck was that? I heard something. I don't know. So we're going to have a look upstairs. So that's the stairwell, we know what that looks like, I don't need to explain it other than that one step there isn't actually attached to anything, so and some sticky on it. That's nice. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's all I need. Uh, yeah. That is uh, a bit rickety. Because somebody's bodged it. <laughs> Like these, really. You know, we've got another. Oh dear. Oh. Hmm. Supposed to do that. <laughs> Where was that? 
this is a wonderful invention, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, fucking great. I've got a bass. <laughs> yeah. Which is a good thing. I prefer them over showers. It's, that's not, not something I'm directly going to complain about. And somebody hasn't painted this fence yet because it's always open. <laughs> <coughs> Given I think it goes straight into the wall cavity, it's probably just blowing fucking dust in there, I don't think. Look at that overhangs. And so I'm like, yeah, well, screw that sink. We'll take that out. I'll put my uh, old one in here because that's a good sink there. The problem is, there's no shut off valves and uh, all things on the. Uh, what's the name of that? I can't remember. Like, what, Hep 2R or something they call it, don't they? Plastic. It's crap. Nice hole in the floor down there. It's a pretty sizeable hole. Along with a nice hole in the wall there. Uh, if you just want uh, to stash drugs or something. And another nice air freshener to cover up the horrible smells. And even that's on uh, that shit. Look at that fucking workman shit. Yeah, fucking right. Oh no, I never noticed that. It's one of these stupid. That's coming out. I'm not having that. I hate those things. That's. I can live with it, but it's going to annoy me. The fuck was that? This is the, uh, I can't really point the camera that way because the, there's no curtains. So I'll stand by the window. This is the spare room. Where's my torch? I can hear people outside. I'm not that fucking interesting, for fuck's sake. I think I get used to me by now. So yeah, this room's quite small. There's not really anything eventful in here. Except the boiler in the closet. Because uh, that's what the council likes to do with closets. So there's a piece of paper around. Don't put anything in the closet to start a fire. Now we've got fucking gas. I'll put as much as I want in here. And if I planned on staying, I'd take this piece of shit out. But I don't really plan on staying. I could have got out of this tendency, but it won't give me anything better. So <laughs> I was like, well, fuck that. <laughs> You know, we'll take it and I'll put it in for next to those floorboards are loose, I just nearly fell on my ass. And that's not lit good. So, yeah. We were, uh, you know, it was like, well, I'll stay in a while, put in for an exchange. So I can say no to that as much as I want. And this is good though, I don't need gas to get hot water. It costs a lot to run, but we've got them past you, yeah. Um, Nice airing cupboard, it's good to have an airing cupboard. I don't know what that hole's about. I've never noticed that before, I'm not even sure that was... Let me have a look at that. What the fuck is going on there? Jesus fucking Christ, is there anything in this place? But that's not the problem, the problem is I'm like, oh yeah, no, as you mean. It fucking leaks! It's like, no, they'll take it out if I report it. It's terrible. <laughs> it's that fucking... Oh, it's... I don't know. I think those two though are just the uh, the central heating. It's just a, a coil. So I think I can actually get rid of the water in those without affecting this thing, but I'm not sure. I've never tried for a line. I might just fucking explode. Uh, yeah, I think these are the ones actually used for uh, obtaining hot water. It looks like it's an old roll of PTFE tape back there. I wonder if there's anything left on it. I can't quite. There you go. So, <laughs> you have to wonder. Good. Oh, God, what the fuck is that? I'm not even going into it. So, yeah. That's my uh, measurement. But if I complain, they're probably going to take it out. So, I'm going to fix that one myself, which is fine. I think I've already proven I'm quite proficient in that. Plenty of floorboards that aren't attached to anything. That's what you want in your house. It'll look fine if you put a carpet on. Oh, of course it. It'll look fine if we put a fucking carpet on it. <laughs> We've got an original door. It's got potential. Got my old fake papers. Got butchered flooring. God, it's a mess. It is an absolute fucking mess. You want to see good workmanship? I'll show you some good workmanship. You want to lift floorboards? Cutting them diagonally and cut the board next to it as well, because that's it. I want to know what it is, because I can take them out without fucking them up. Sure, that's cut through the tongue. 
But I'm going to have to cut through that, so yeah, and I don't use this shit to fucking put them back. What the hell is now? How am I supposed to make anything good? Fuck, we'd put a carpet in. Yeah, well, when there's fucking holes in it, won't it? Jesus Christ, the fucking thing isn't even. <laughs> oh, lovely workmanship there, lads. Look at how fucking straight that is. Good God. I like think everything being bent round here. I guess the workmen just. Like maybe they were in the lady boys or something, you know? Well, they just like men up and fall out. Look at that shit. So, yeah, this is a. Yeah? Don't make me come over there. Fucking people, man. So, this room is not big. And because it's on such a fucking spindly fucking structure, this floor bounces when I fucking walk on it. <laughs> I don't load it that hard. But we're losing about 75, actually more, because there's no chimney breast in this room. So, <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, there, there is, it's kind of that in there. But in my current house, there's not versus the one in the living room, and you get more space, whereas this is shorter. And I'll show you why. I'll show you something really fucked up here, watch. Yeah, I'm gonna put the camera outside the house. I've gotta be careful with this. Let me break the recording here. Oh yes, and remember, children are retarded and they will jump out of windows if you don't have one of these crappy things to stop the window opening too far. Liability, really. I never jumped out of a window and we didn't have them when I was a kid, so... Let me see what's going on out here. Yeah, I was on the other side of the glass, so you wouldn't have been able to hear me. But as you can see, legs are all there. And I won't fix any of this until I move in. Now, seeing as I'm here, I'm seeing that everybody's been staring through the fucking window anyway. Let's go and. Uh, and bung the camera out the front window here. Apparently it's a fire exit. We would be there on this side, wouldn't we? Got to put the camera down, hang on. I must remember to not tilt this too far back or you will be able to see my garden and that's not what I want. Because you piece of crap. But as you can see, that front porch, all oh, the lads come out, but it's not the lads' fault, it's that the oh, damn thing needs two ends. Uh, it's more that the whole porch is coming away as we discussed last time. So this is where I will be living, and all in all, it's crap. I don't like it. And I don't know why it costs more to rent. Because to me, if you're going to pay more rent, the house should either be substantially larger or of substantially higher quality in a better neighbourhood. And it's not, because I've had another letter through the door about more burglaries and my door was unlocked again, even though there are people who witnessed I locked it last time. So, yeah, <laughs> burglary with the fucking key. And it makes my life harder because I've got to pack my old house and I can't put anything in here until I've moved in. And then I can't leave until the locks have cha been changed because otherwise that's going to happen. And even then I don't want to leave because they just break in anyway. So yeah, this is it. This is the shit all I'm moving to. Thanks a lot, old city council. You know, that's what I get. I pay tax and rent all these years and this is how you fucking repay me. So I know what I'm going to do about it. I'll have to find some way of doing shit, won't I? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to measure one last thing and I'm getting out of here, but uh, I'm dropping the video here and I'm going to fucking... I'm, I'm going to shut everything away and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm my treason. And whether I put the rest of this video in here, I don't know. I'll see you again soon. Uh, right now I'm going to go and smoke and measure that fucking... I'm out of here, tat off.
Yeah, I meant to point this out and I forgot. Having said that, I'll just splice it in the middle, so... Ah, fuck it! Yeah, that's the uh, where the water's turned on and off. Beyond there. This is next to the uh, fireplace. It's naturally have electrics there. <laughs> and wires inside there. So, yeah, if I ever want to turn the water off, I don't remember to turn the power off, because imagine you were turning that thing and the top broke off, which happens quite a lot with these things when they haven't been turned in a while. And then it's like, pff, yeah, you're probably going to die. <laughs> Uh, not real good, to be honest. Don't know who thought that was a good idea. Yeah. Hey, you know, you don't want to the by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a dilemma, because I've uh, I want to rescue this spider, so I'm going to get her a tank, which I've got, and I've been feeding her up, and she's uh, she's happy enough, but I'm going to rescue her, I'm not going to leave her that, pardon me, my stomach's played up, I'm not going to leave her there to uh, be run over by bulldozers when the house gets demolished, so I want to rescue her, the problem is, I've got to catch her. And look, I haven't really got a lot of room to get something in there to uh, catch her, and I can't grab her. Because the thing is, she is, uh, well basically, that that's pretty much the fastest spider in the world under its own power. It can move pretty damn fast. See if she goes for it. Come on, spider. Seems like there's someone outside in the back garden. Oop. Might well be. Oop, there she is. She's big and she's quick. So the question is, how do we get her out of that web? Because she won't leave that 
just by me tapping the web with something and of course she's going to retreat quickly and she ain't even running flat out or anything there so I don't really know how to do this I guess maybe I could uh, try to coax her over the edge of her web into something but then she might just run out of it and I'm not so concerned about her running on me because she's not liable to bite and if she does bite well it doesn't really hurt or anything it does nothing but there is a chance she could get hurt and I don't really want that to happen so I'm gonna have to figure this out I've invented a new tool it is the spider scooper three two one I think do we get her is she in there is she running up it towards me I think she's in I don't know if she's not well and then I don't know where she went and we've lost her, but... I can't... Oh, I can see her, she's in. We got her! Thank fuck for that. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I know you spent so long on that web. She's just sitting there. Poor thing. I feel bad for her, I really do. I'm really sorry, but... If I left you there, you were going to get killed. Now I've got to lift that stuff out. I'll be fine, you watch her jump on it as soon as I put my hand in there, like she knows. Let's probably avoid it because it's bigger than her. There you go. There you are. Damn, that was tense. <laughs> I think it's, you've seen she can move fast and she hasn't even gone flat out. I don't know why she's been so slow. It's pretty cold in here, it's one of the reasons I waited until. 3am to do this because it's freezing cold and uh, when it's cold they don't move as fast you can hear it like I started shaking the last minute there but I got her I feel really bad I'm really sorry spider and there's the male uh, he hasn't been in there he's been sat there for days he's too pussy to go in there where's she gone I know I know I'm real sorry you'll be all right I'll look after you don't worry I'll look after you. You're going to get fed and everything, you know. You, you build yourself a nice new web. It can be better than your old one. And uh, look, you've got places to hide and everything. I'll move her uh, from here. And I'll do a time lapse on her or something. Because uh, she's probably going to start building a new web. She'll get over it. They don't have a long memory or anything, I don't think. So. So I don't like having to remove her. She is cute though, you've got to admit. I, I don't know how people can't like these. She's a bit fat, but... I know. I, I know. You're alright. Don't worry. I'll, I'll move her to uh, her place. Here we go. Camera's still playing up about memory cards and stuff now. I really should replace it, but it's a few days later. And there's my Tegenaria right there. It's she is. I'm not sure on what. Tegenaria domestica, Tegenaria gigantea. I can't be certain which. She's a bit of an odd size. But yep, yeah, she has built herself a new. Oops, she's moving. I don't think she likes me uh, coming up to her like this. Can't really blame her. She's a lot smaller than I am. I could quite easily just. <coughs> if I wanted to, but I don't. So, the last thing I want to do, you can see she's built herself a nice funnel at the top here. Which I thought was attached to the lid, but it's not. Let me get a light on it. She won't like me shining this in here, but it won't hurt her. I don't believe. Yeah, you can see uh, she has a nice funnel going on up here. And uh, quite a bit of web down the bottom here. She's got this place kitted out. There's a little water dish there. I thought she'd live behind that stern. Because uh, it's always dark in there. But nope, she's chosen to hide out in that corner. Which is fine, she obviously knows what she's doing, she doesn't seem that bothered by light. I mean, she's lived in a window where it's light all the time, because I never switch that light out. I actually do switch this one off in here, so she gets more dark now. And uh, unfortunately, I only fed her not long ago, I think it was like yesterday, so I can't really... Well, I don't know, I might have recorded that, I think, so I guess I could... Yeah, it's a good sign, I just threw her a cricket and she's, uh, she's looking for it. Spider has got dindins. <laughs> Poor little crickets. I don't really feel bad for them because I don't know they're a nuisance really. And uh, 
Well, it's cruel for the spider to starve, really, isn't it? Yeah, it partly feels bad, but... Yeah, what are you going to do? But yeah, she seems happy enough. You know, uh, I fed her mostly to encourage her to build that. I don't think she's overweight, though. She looks happy enough. Yeah, she's a real nice little spider. And that spider silk there is has a stronger tensile strength than steel. We haven't actually managed to synthesize it that well yet. So, yeah, they got us beat on that. You know, they've solved the problem with components entirely in their own body, which you have to admire whether you like them or not. And like I say, this particular species is completely harmless unless you're allergic to it. And really not that aggressive. If I shoved my hand in there, she'd run away or curl into a ball. They, they, they only really want to bite their food. They don't, they don't really like attacking people. I mean, she's not... You know, I can put my finger there. She's not trying to get through the glass and kill me. She moves a bit because she doesn't know what it is or she feels a vibration, but she's not trying to attack. So no, they're uh, they're okay, these. They're related to uh, herbivore spiders, though. Uh, I wouldn't really want to pick one of those up, but apparently uh, they eat herbivore spiders. So, yeah, that's another cool thing about these, I guess, if uh, that's the case. We don't have herbivore spiders here, as far as I know, so... I've never seen that first end. She eats all the male uh, males of our species, though. That went in her web. That big one that was hiding out probably saved his life by moving her. He'd been sat there for days. He don't go in. Can't really blame him. So yeah, she's she's happy in here. It seems. Anyway, I better finish editing this together. It's nearly an hour long. This video, it looks like, but yeah, so be it. If anyone's got the patience to make it this far, then I can't actually see the screen. I salute you. <laughs> well done. Maybe watch it in segments if you want to see the whole thing. A bit late for me, that advice now. And I'm out of memory card, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. There's a midgey cricket. Yeah, he's alive. Yeah, spider knows what's happening. Look at her, she's run out. <laughs> Thinks she's up. <laughs> That's cool. She's, she's gotten used to me, I think. You saw that, that's on camera. She actually ran out. 